in today's episode, we'll be drawing Dr. Strange. I'm Miss K. And I'm Mr. K. And, and we, we are K. Jaja. K. What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of K Draw Draw. In today's episode, we'll be drawing Doctor Strange, um, the Funko Pop version. If you're not familiar with Funko Pops, they are basically vinyl figures, um, collectibles. And they have licenses to a lot of um, movies out there. Marvel movies, Star Wars and stuff like that. As well as TV series. So we're drawing Doctor Strange for this week. So to start off, we'll be drawing sort of like a rectangular shape for the head um, with slanted edges around the corners. We'll be adding on the ears and just um, circles for the eyes. Currently, I'm adding on the nose, just a simple triangular um, shape. And I'll be adding on the iconic Doctor Strange um, moustache. and his goatee so the software I'm using is um, Procreate so for this first layer it's just uh, I'm using pencil okay I realized that the proportions are a bit off I erased and then I adjusted the chin area to make it lower so it looks more natural Adding on his eyebrows. So for this um, tutorial, Doctor Strange kind of have uh, angry eyebrows, I guess. And I'm adding on um, some lines for his hair. Now I'll be working on his cape. So it's just a series of curves and then slanted line downwards and then followed by another curve. It's the same for the other side. So in case um, you haven't noticed or this is your first time here, um, we do add fun facts to our characters that we draw weekly. So you can always learn a thing or two about these characters that we are drawing. Currently, I'm working on his body. I'm trying to get the proportion right before I commit to the final details. If you get the proportions right from the start, everything else will slowly fall in place. So for the center of his cape, you can just draw a circle and then a series of wavy lines to indicate where the cape starts and ends. Now I'm working on his body. So it's just a curved line downwards followed by a straight line horizontally and another curve upwards and I'm drawing the emblem on his chest which looks like this touching it up around the corners and I'm working on the rest of his rope so it's just a curved line downwards followed by a wavy line so it kind of looks like a skirt. Drawing the cloth that um, is around his waist area. So it's just a circle followed by a few wavy lines, kind of like a ribbon. Working on the legs area, so it's quite simple. The thing about Funko Pops is they have a very um, minimalist design. 
but they um, despite that they they still manage to re- recapture the essence of the character finishing up on the cape now I'm working on his hands being sort of a sorcerer he's known for using many different um, I guess hand signals or hand gestures to perform his dark arts so you gotta take your time when you draw the hands so normally I draw the outline of the hand and then I add on the, the fingers so it, again you gotta get the initial proportion right so it's easier for you to draw in the final details touching up on his fingers Okay, fin- finishing up his cape so it's just a straight line downwards and then I'm, I'll be doing some erasing and <clears throat> after drawing the body I realized that um, I feel that his head is a bit too small, so I'll, I'll be doing some adjustments. So I just erase the sides and then I so called elongate the face by probably adding like another centimeter to each side. Redrawing the eyes so it looks proportionate for his head. Erasing the lines that I do not need. So, never be afraid to adjust your drawing whenever you can until the point that you're happy. Because once you, you color in, that's it. So, you get the initial stage right. Giving him some side burns. Touching up on the, his cape area. Erasing some of the lines that I do not need. Makes the drawing look neater as well as it's gonna help me a lot when I do my colouring later. Just trying to finalize everything. Touching up on his hair, doing some erasing. Making sure everything is neat. So just a fun fact, um, Doctor Strange it's actually the first Funko Pop that I collected. I do have quite a few. Alright, now we're adding on some colors beneath the pencil layer. So I'll be starting off with um, sort of like a red, lipstick red, I guess to find the right tone of it I'm using a darker tone for the insides of his cape to give it sort of that depth adding on the yellows the trademark light blue now I'm working on his skin color 
adding on the blacks for his eyes and his boots, his hair and now I'll be doing the outlines to give it uh, more depth and bring the drawing uh, more to life I guess erasing all the pencil lines touching up on areas I've missed in terms of the colors adding some white streaks to his hair and another outline and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoy my drawing of Doctor Strange and hope you learn a thing or two we'll see you in the next one thank you see ya